everyone, it's me again. Hey, um, you know, I just got done watching my last video blog and realized I totally like skipped a lot of stuff. And um, we talked about the, my why and that I didn't skip anything on. But um, as far as, um, you know, getting started and stuff, I kind of skipped some stuff that was kind of important. <laughs> it's so hard when, when you're doing this, it's, it's easy to totally just start talking and get off track and forget. Um, I know I mentioned in my last blog that um, about what two and a half years ago or whatever that I had gotten this weight bench. I neglected to mention kind of going back a little further before I was before I got my weight bench and stuff. I didn't mention about the fact that before the Christmas and the weight bench thing that I I had been wanting to lose weight for quite some time and, and it really does go back to season one of the biggest loser. Um, that really started to inspire me. And um, I wish I remembered the years and stuff on this stuff, but I just I just don't remember. Anyway, um, it, it was that first season that started to inspire me. I didn't do a lot about it, um, but I was inspired by those people. Um, it was shortly thereafter, I think it was season two, and I mentioned this before in other blogs that, um, I, or maybe, anyway. <laughs> Sometime between season one and season two, I had uh, decided that I wanted to get an exercise bike because, well, quite frankly, with my feet, and dang it, I forgot to grab those shoes. I was gonna show you guys, but I'll have to try to remember that next time. But with my feet problems and everything, um, you know, I, I knew that using an exercise bike was really gonna be about the only thing that I was going to be able to do um, because it's so low impact. Uh, so I got this while here that I'm gonna buy an exercise bike. I'm telling you guys, I did not go out and spend $200 on an exercise bike. I went to Walmart and bought the cheapest one I can find practically. And we put it together and, and I used it. And seriously, I, I wanted the cheapest one because I was afraid it was gonna end up being a, clo you know, a rack to dry clothes on. I, I really did, I really thought for sure. I was determined, but at the same time, I thought I don't want to spend two or three hundred dollars on a piece of equipment that I might never, not ever use. So, um, so again, and I'm, I'm kind of going backwards a little bit from my last blog. Um, I uh, I started doing that probably like ten minutes at a time. I am not kidding you. After about ten minutes, I would be ready to die. I'd be like. <clears throat> And my legs would be like like jello and jelly and I mean seriously it was horrible but you know you just kept going and, and I go back I'm pretty sure it was season two that those people were riding the bike and they did it for like four hours or whatever I, I somebody correct me on that if I'm totally wrong if you're a Biggest Loser fan if you're a big fan like me you kind of remember some of that stuff but I just don't remember exactly what season it had to be season two because I know my friends Marty and Amy were on season three and uh, I don't remember them doing that challenge so I'm gonna narrow it down anyway <laughs> that's beside the point but I remember I'm sitting there and I'm watching those people and I'm like oh you know if 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 they can do it for that long oh for crying out loud now I can do it for more than 10 minutes so <laughs> That's, uh, so I don't really quite remember, but I, I got up to the point where I was, you know, I was going for an hour at a time, you know, and I was starting to feel pretty good about it. And then I believe it was um, probably that uh, Christmas that we got the weight bench and stuff. Um, so, and again, um, as far as, you, you have to understand that strength training is important. I mean, look at, ignore, I ignore the the uh, extra skin underneath, but look at look at the muscles. I mean, I have some definite muscle tone on my body, and that's all from working out. And I'm not trying to show off, but I, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and it, you you can you know do all the cardio you want, but you've got to build muscle tone. You have to. If you've got injuries and stuff like feet problems, and I know a friend of mine, um, she has some knee and knee problems, um, start off with lowest weights you can. Um, if all you can do is three pounds, and for crying out loud, do three pounds. Um, I think one of the best exercises was the um, one of those uh, 
um, core balls, you know, the, the big round balls that you get on, you do crunches and stuff. Those are fantastic. I mean, seriously, if you've got some injuries, because you can do, um, you know, you can do all kinds of weights, weight stuff on that or stability ball. That's what it's called. On the stability ball, you can do all kinds of weight stuff. And with the fact that the ball moves, you have to hold, you have to hold yourself in a position to be able to do that. And that's adding core strength. And that's really very important, um, you know, for your posture and everything. Eh, now look at me, my posture isn't so good, but you know, that's another story. Um, but I, I absolutely, I keep looking at my ball now that I'm talking about, love, love the ball. I don't do it as much as I used to, but I did tons of ball exercising when I started. So if you do not have a stability ball, I totally recommend you getting one. Um, and I would get, if you do not, if you cannot afford a personal trainer, do not try to do a bunch of stability ball exercises without knowing the proper te technique. Not trying to be a sales pitch, but um, Shailene um, has a, a, a video called Get on the Ball, and um, I think it's like 40 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks. They send you a ball and a videotape. Uh, it's called Shailene Get on the Ball. Um, you can go to www.cornhuskerfitness.com, that's our website, and click on Shop for Products. And um, it does require you to join, but there's no, there's no fee for joining, so don't panic about that. It does require you just to join um, as, a, as a free member type thing, and then you can order the um, thing, but it's called Shailene Get on the Ball. Um, I totally recommend it because you, you don't want to try doing a lot of those stability ball exercises without having something to guide you because I know personal trainers are very expensive. They run anywhere from $50 to $100 an hour. So you want a cheap way to do it? Check out the videos. Um, anyway, so, uh, you know, as far as weight training, you know, I just can't say enough about it. Um, just to, to be able to look at like my arms and stuff and just have been able to watch the, the fat melt away and the muscle definition. My chiropractor is just, and I keep talking about him because he's so amazed at my transformation because he told me, he says, Wendy, you have absolutely no muscle tone, none, none. That's why your back keeps getting out of place. I'm like, wow, nobody ever told me that. I thought I had something. Uh -uh. No, I was probably like a little baby with no muscle tone, you know. As you get older, you gotta have that muscle tone because it will help you um, with bone loss, um, arthritis, um, especially we women with bone loss, because it's very, very important. The, the more muscle you have, the less likely you are to have bone loss. So um, start small. Don't, again, don't try to lift 50 pounds, start small. Another great thing, resistance bands. I use a lot of resistance bands too because especially like when I'm really sore after I've had a big workout, I will use resistance bands instead of dumbbells or a weight machine because it it's it's less it's less hard on your body, less taxing, I don't know, less it's it's less strain, I guess is a better word, on your body than what the weights are. Um, they have a lot less negative resistance as you know than the weights do so um, Resistance bands again, you can get them go to our website Cornhuskerfitness.com um, You can buy all that stuff through our Beachbody site So, you know if you ever need anything like that or you need some help call me and I'll help you with that. But anyway um, So I'm about out of time again. So, okay um, light cardio, start off if you, you know, start off on an exercise bike if you can. Don't run a marathon. Get some strength training. Get some dumbbells. I highly recommend, recommend a stability ball. Great, great, great exercise to start getting your muscle tone built. So anyway, I've got a remote to stop this thing this time. Anyway, um, so I guess we'll talk more about that later. Uh, and if I get real brave, maybe I'll show you guys a few exercises you can do on a stability ball. But um, check it out. Find yourself one. Um, good luck, and we will talk to you all later. Bye.